that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Let us pray the Lord. There is something about Jesus. What did I say? There is something about Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God said today, Jabez, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. His mother called him Jabez. Amen. And this name Jabez means sorrow. It means pain. This woman carried this child into the, into the world. Amen. This, he, he caused her pain. It was none of his fault. Amen. This child came, an innocent child came into the world. And they named him, she named him Jabez. Amen. Because she felt great pain. Yeah. I can imagine in my own imagination that when he came on the scene and was growing up, maybe his brethren made him look at him away. Yeah. Amen. Maybe they made him so much like him. Amen. Because he called, you know, his name was Jabez. A stigma was alerted to his name. Amen. You know, sometimes when, when you get some name, name means something else. Every name you got. Yeah. Make sure when you have a child yeah. and you name naming your child, yeah. you you think about the name yes. that you means. give that child. Yes. Because something is aligned, aligned to that child. Name is very important, woman. She gave this child name Jabez. Hallelujah. For Jabez for pain. Amen. Jabez, the name Jabez brings pain. And it was no responsibility of this child why his mother named him Jabez. It was no responsibility why this child caused his mother pain to come into this world. You see, you're not responsible for how you come into this world because you have to more concern about how you leave this world. No matter if you're born in a market. You no know, matter if you're born on a tree. It, it, it didn't matter where you're born. It didn't matter if you're born in the lane and the avenue down the news. It didn't matter where you come from. But when you leave this world, you better, you better make sure of how you leave it. I want to talk to a sinner today. Amen. You, you wake up this morning and you find your blood running warm in your bed and you feel happy and you feel good. But if your eyes should close at this time, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you. You will be in big trouble. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. So this man, he came on the scene. And maybe he heard about Jesus. Hallelujah. He heard about the God of Israel. He heard that God 
retract that statement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to bring out something real strong. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, that the Lord will bless me indeed. I need an indeed blessing today. How much, how much of you need an indeed blessing today? Yeah. I need Thank you, Lord. No man asks for an indeed blessing. Yeah. Hallelujah. That the Lord will strengthen it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Keep me from that the Lord will keep him.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something that is far different. Hallelujah. He didn't even ask for silver and gold. He asked for the hand of the Lord to be with him. But when you have God's hand, you have everything. Because everything belongs to the Lord.
to Panama. And in the Dabada, when we have to feed every evening, and it was walking from like here to Papier. And when he come back, he give him one church hat. A pink church hat in our village. And the grandmother take the pink church hat from me and give it to my sister. And take care of all mash up one and give it. She never even think of the journey. What they do every evening to go feed the man now.
Repent! 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 